in fact worked all right. I didn't rip the hip hooks off. Oh, I can't bloody reach them out. That's eight foot up to there, so I'm gonna have to get myself a better ladder. But that long one, six meters, they don't flap around at all. Good. Uh, what I've got to build is a corner pergola here to take this wisteria and a piece along there to take the top of that but I can't I can't take this post out see the plants wrapped all the way around it same as this one over here wisteria is growing around it so what I've got to do try and get one or two in the corner here I'd prefer two because they're taking the timbers like that one over here the trees in the way I prefer to be right over there in the corner but I'm not I'm gonna have to be here so it does that what I'm doing is replacing this it's insufficient most of these posts are rotten they're rotten at the bottom but like I say I can't take these ones out that one's quite solid, but I have to replace that. Put another one here, ladder frame across there, and then this triangular one. At this point, I can't just have one post because I'll have that rail, that one, mm -hmm. and it's taking that, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, phone rang. But what I was saying is, at this point here, I've got that timber coming across there, one coming across the top the big back rail that's going to be taking the posts that stay in so I can't just have one post there it's just too many joints you know there won't be a lot of the top of the post left because I, not, I like to notch it so I've got to put two posts in here somehow I can't put one in here because it'll be in the middle of the deck the flags the patio and same again at that end I've got two timbers coming in I can't put another timber another post in to take this one take this one they're going across there so I've got to have two together somehow that ends fairly simple providing I can get that post out anyway it's pissing it down today so next thing's dig some holes right, I'm fighting the bushes I've got one hole dug there it's about 18 inch deep but you see I've got roots here post here, this is my fence post don't know whether I'm going to be able to get two in I think it's going to piss it down again but I've got one all dug there, one there that one's going to take this one that goes across there these two are going to create like a gold post frame there, what I'm building is Gold post frame there, one there, one here, and then I've just got to try and join it all together. But before I dig this, I just want to, you see it's rotten at the bottom here. There'll be a stump in the ground. When I put these posts in, I've gone about 18 inch. It's a bit tight. There won't be a lot of concrete, but I'm going to build this thing so that it can be freestanding. A bit like a table, you know, you'd be able to pick it up, put it on the lawn there and it'd still be able to stand up. It'd still be able to stand up on its own. But what I was saying about them posts, things rot at ground level. Below there, it's hermetically sealed, there's, there's hardly any oxygen. And sometimes the wetter the better actually. No bugs live down there. They live around ground level, six inch above, six inch below. That's why posts rot at ground level. It's where the creatures live and the bugs and microbes and everything like that. Anyway, I've got to try and get two posts in here. I've got roots there. 
some boots there somewhere so this post might come out it's got vine wrapped around it though right, so those two are dug <coughs> that one is roughly in the middle so that's going to be the middle support for this one that one is going to take this over here I'd prefer those to be the other way around but that's too far over there to be the support for the middle of this anyway I've got this to deal with I've got to get one here metal frame and a post that's quite good on the corner of this thing so I don't know that post is fairly good and he said he's concreted them in I found concrete on that one there just there so yeah don't know Right, these po two posts have had the level on top and it's pretty level, it's about that out so I'm going to ignore that What I need to do is just cut a couple of notches in there and get this top timber on I might just clamp it for now right, That looks like a crap knot So I'm going to cut that out I don't want that left in this piece where I'm going to be bolting through I ain't got my other whips on with me, so annoyingly I've got to reset this. It won't go through full depth.
Right, so I've stood them back in place with the notches on the top. What I can do is measure across there now and cut that one. I'm going to cut it slightly over long so that I can work out that when it's up there. So that one's in, from what I can tell it looks okay, it's just clamped at the top. But what I can do now is put this one in, level across to here, level across to there and round. Same thing. Right, seeing as I'm having to adjust the saw, I've just done three for now, working on their bench, I don't want to overload it, otherwise I'd do them all. Rip them down. So that one's in, I've just stood these two in, I've got this one to go in this end, but I can't decide about this post, it's fairly firm, all the shrubs are attached to it, at the bottom of there it's just a mass of concrete, same as this one, it's about 14, 16 inch deep, you see that one, that one's sat forward, because those timbers, these sleepers that are at the back, kick, kick, kick in a bit. So, I might just leave it in. Put this one in front of it. They've told me to do whatever I think's right. That's always a bit shit, having to make your own decisions. Anyway. We'll see. Right, so I've braced that one in the corner both ways, so that's plumb. This one I've got a brace ready to go on it. It's half lapped at the top, notched, whatever you want to call it. What I'm going to do is sit this timber on and I can level through so I know the height of this one. This timber on the floor isn't level, it goes down and then up again, 
so I can't really work to that. But I'm going to cut it from there to there, that distance, and trust that once it goes up there it'll be the right length. I was going to leave it over and then trim it off, but nah, I think I'm going to go for it. Uh, that was hard work. That'll do. Near enough. Get a clamp on here, get it plumb. It's nearly there. Alright, so now I can get that one in, get that one levelled. I've decided I'm just going to leave that post in. Can't get to the concrete at the bottom, so it's a bit pointless pulling it out. So, it's just a fraction high at this end. I've got this one upside down, I've got the cut that I made in the hole there. So, all I've got to do is cut it off like that. And I'm going to ignore that it goes up a bit because it might sit in, and who's going to know? Not a bad cut, slightly out, a bit rough, I don't care, it's going down. I've got my miter saw with me, but look at the weather, I'm not getting it out. Although I talk about posts not rotting at the bottom, it won't do any harm to put a bit of treatment on. So, I worked out how I wanted. This is plumb. I've got 45mm for this timber to go in here. I couldn't decide whether to run it through or not. I just didn't make my mind up. Anyway, get this other one in next to it now. Put a short one on the top. I've got a piece clamped in there. This one's going to run through on the face. I've just marked this. So that is that distance. I'll screw this at the bottom so it'll be parallel. And I'll get a diagonal brace on. Get them plumb. So like that. <coughs> Right, so like that. So 
what I need to do now is get those plumb, get a brace on them. All this is plumb and level. So I need to do the same there. Then from that post, and I've got another post there, it's going to go there. I can work that one out across there. And once that's in, I can slot this one in. It's tea time first though. 